And hello, my lovely cancers. I hope you are doing well. Getting right into your main monthly love reading. Let's see. What is the forecast for you? Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. Things have been going well, but it's like, what is this person really up to? Okay. Um, I do feel like their intentions is really set on you. But again, it's something that's holding them back. They're going to let their guard down and reveal something towards you. We do have the King of Wands energy. You can see this person is like very serious about you. Intense attraction here. You could be dealing with a Virgo who has been in isolation for a while. They're coming out of hermit mode. And I feel like they're scared of falling in love, okay? If you can see in your spread, there's no cups right now. There's only wands, swords, pinnacles, and major arcanas because a shift is happening in your life. I feel like for some of you, you have put love on the back burner. You're focusing on work and you're kind of hiding your feelings in regards to something you're just, you know, trying to maintain here. But there's no cups on the board. So it's like... Patients of the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. And then we have healing family issues with the override energy. So it's like your emotions is kind of out of it. I'm getting cancers like you, you don't really care anymore. Like we have reconciliation as the override energy. Someone from your past is returning. For those who, those of you who are in separation, again, you have an inkling that there's some sneaky intentions going on. Patients of the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. They could have family issues that... You know, they told you that they settled. It doesn't have to be family. It could be, you know, work obligations, money, finances that they settled. Things have balanced out, but there's still something that's that they're not telling you that they're hiding. So we're going to figure this out throughout the reading. Um, I do feel like with the Nine of Wands energy and the Strength card, you could be dealing with a Leo. Things ended really badly with the Ten of Swords. Could have been a betrayal here. This person has got their karma. And again, we have karma here, judgment in reverse with justice, okay? I haven't seen this in a reading in a long time, Cancers. And when this comes out, this is truly karmic, right? Karma, karma, a karmic cycle is ending someone has completely gotten their karma for those of you who are in separation and i was like they're kneeling coming forward wanting to say something but again cancers here you are your queen of cups energy is in reverse this is your card you're emotionless in regards to this person so it's like this person has a lot of of uh, explaining um work to do in order to win you back here again with the high priestess we do see the full moon we are in full moon and scorpio energy that starts on may 6th whenever you see this reading so it's like someone is coming in with an apology and you're frustrated because it's like it's a little bit too late like cancer so i'm getting like this annoying energy for you because we have the ten of pentacles and the four of pentacles here which equals that five of pentacles this person could have left you out in the cold and didn't give you like no notice about it with the five of wands and energy in reverse and here's that two of swords energy you could have blocked them they could have just blocked you out completely ghosted you and this left you devastated cancer so take it how it resonates you could be dealing with a virgo taurus or a capricorn as well and it's like they're going back and forth on coming forward because they know they were you know immature um set in their ways in the past here so that's why spirit wants you to pay attention to the red flags because it's not all what it seems cancer you know if you're a caught cross watcher take it how it resonates what does this person want to say to you i cannot wait any longer please respond so they're going to try to come with a text message i'm living a lie i'm not happy i'm wondering who has your attention right now you could have them black so they might just show up at your door cancers we do have the page of wands and the lovers in regards to new love there is a new connection that's coming in um but i feel like again you're kind of so angry in regards to this person coming back in to reconcile that um for some of you for the month of may you're you're, you're gonna wait on love and wait till next month okay um i feel like right now in love for some of you cancers you're like you know what it's just simply not worth the risk i don't even i don't even want to entertain love right now so three of cups you're gonna go out date have fun or, you know, or just stay towards your self-care and just keep it pushing. But there's someone that's definitely watching you and they're completely stuck on you. There's a chapter that hasn't ended in regard and how they feel in regards to this situation, Cancers. So we do have Virgo energy. Again, they're trying to figure out which path to take that wouldn't lead to disappointment or rejection. And again, this is karma literally biting them in the ass when it comes to you. So let's just see what this hidden intentions really are. What is this person up to? Three of Wands, Six of Cups, and a Six of Swords. Yeah, they're full of shit. Full of shit, Cancer. They're set in their ways. Nothing has changed. We have Hammer, 
sabotage, re rebuilding, interrogation. Yeah, repetitive here, right? Ending. Endings brings new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. So, Cancers, I do feel like you're going to turn this person down for the month of May. You know, you're, you let your guard down. You don't care anymore. You're, you're careless. So, if some of you, for some of you, you're so angry, but don't hold on to this anger for the month of May. Okay, Cancers, we you know reconciliation is here. There's someone coming in who's your love life's gonna send to a higher level of commitment, but that's only if you want and if you decide that you want new love, it's gonna come in. If you wanna wait, that's okay. Work on yourself. You you know, divine timing is about working your love life no matter what, okay? So a lot of situations come on phone naturally. Don't be so upset about this. I do wanna get some advice in regards to this cancer's sexual union, honor to place one another where you are one internal soul. For there you will find bliss yeah don't give in to this person advances here because they're just really in and out energy a message for you sleep with them is kind of going to mess things up energetically you're going to kind of learn a lesson again a message for you i'm thinking of you this moment your love fills me with light i love you but a little bit too late for that yeah this person is honesty it's, it's like you're never going to get over it so it's like you might as well just leave, leave the situation alone. You're going to have a mini tire moment, even if you do accept this person back. You know, they're going to show their true intentions. And again, it's going to be that same cycle. And it's going to be like, I knew I could have, should have, would have. Like, I, I should have trusted my intuition on this. This person is just going to be set in their ways. You have a new love, Sagittarius energy coming in. Um, trying to, uh, they're going to be very patient. There, it's going to be a love that's gonna, really going to balance out. That's why we also have justice here. So, you know, trust your intuition for the month of May. It's not going to lead you astray, Cancers. Okay, don't obsess about things. Let it go. All right? I'm going to leave it here, guys, and have a wonderful week.